What is up bros and welcome back. Now I'm excited because this video that you're about to watch contains some of the best new tricks that I've seen in recent times and I was going back and forth so much on which trick to use as the main one with the thumbnail because literally every single one of these could have easily been the title trick. Anyways, got some exciting things coming up. I'm actually going to be leaving for the Siege Finals in Japan on Tuesday, and I'll have early hands-on gameplay footage of the new season for you about a week from today. So make sure that if you like this video and want to see more from me, then hit the bell icon and let's try to get this video to 15,000 likes. If we can make that happen, then I'll be able to feed my family this month and I'll literally love you forever. Anyways, let's get right into it with trick number one. This first one up is the 200 IQ way to peek onto the corner of the tower on Skyscraper. Now a lot of people run up to the top of the tower once they spawn in and from here it's really easy to pre-fire windows and runouts. But with this particular runout you will be safe because it's so difficult to shoot back plus it's not in the normal areas that the attackers will be checking so there's a good chance they won't even be looking in your direction. Now what's extra crazy about this too is that even if you get out to the angle and hold it while you're detected, if anyone is at the top of the tower there's a good chance they will think you're dumb for staying out that long and peek it thinking it's a freebie for them. But once they look in your direction you will be invisible behind the dragon that's catching their bullets and as soon as they get around the edge it's gonna be a free headshot for you. Jumping on over to border, we have another 200 IQ trick, but this time it's going to be with an invisible valve cam that watches over security. Now when you look at the desks, you will notice that there's some black cases underneath, and if we go up and destroy the floor next to it, we will see that it actually opens up a line of sight from underneath of the case to the northern side of security. Now all we're going to need to do is go down to the floor below and chuck a cam up to connect to the bottom of the case and now we have this insane cam that's going to go undetected the entire round. Now moving to the top of east stairs, we're going to be placing another valve cam with a similar outcome as the previous one. Once you get to the top of the east stairs, you'll find this red tool shelf near one of the doors. Now you can just ping the center of the red tool shelf and drop below and destroy a small section of the ceiling above right on your ping. From there, just throw your camera on the left side of the floor beam and you'll have this insane camera that has a view extending from one end of the balcony all the way to the other as well as complete coverage of the top of east stairs. Now for our last trick on border, we're going to be headed to the workshop where we have this sneaky spot that you used to be able to get up on top of, but was recently changed so that it's much more difficult. Luckily for us, we have a new way to get up there and it is so incredibly easy that it's actually practical to use this spot as an invincible diffuser location now. By vaulting on top of the desk, you can then walk forward on the right hand side of the ladder and look left to right very quickly while sprinting forward. You will then notice your character elevating slightly and then you can go right and land on top. From here you can use this as an unorthodox angle to anchor in or if you have the diffuser as an attacker you can then plant the bad boy up there for a guaranteed win where the only way defenders can defuse it is by also getting up to this exact spot which is going to be highly unlikely. Basically once you plant up here you don't need to worry about your entire team getting wiped because it's a guaranteed win anyways. Going on over to Chalet, we have the trick that I used as a sneak peek over on Twitter and it's going to be a way to deal with that annoying player that's anchoring in the tub. Now you can't get rid of this player by going to the floor below and shooting up and if somebody's anchoring in here, there's a good chance that they will have an ADS on the window. So we're going to go ahead and just skip all of those things by going prone in the corner above the ladder, lining up your crosshairs where you see mine and then throwing this nade that would make any counter strike pro proud of us. Thank you. 
Next up, we're going to be on Outback and also taking a pause from the harder tricks with this simple trick where did you know that even though you can't repel on the motel balcony normally, if you go in front of the vending machine or in front of one of the green support beams, you will then get the option to repel up. Now from here, you can open up the bathroom window and do a Call of Duty style head peek above the vending machine for angles on the rotations in hallway. When someone is repelled right here, it is so difficult to see and as long as you're watching your flank from bowl, you will be incredibly hard to deal with. Now doing another rappel angle, we're jumping over to Clubhouse where we have an angle that seems obvious but I've never personally seen anyone up here from any of the games that I've been in before. By rappelling up the kitchen wall from the construction spawn, you can then create this angle through construction onto the doorway of the bedroom. If you add in some upside down rappel patience, you're going to have a great chance of getting a pick on somebody peeking from the bedroom doorway or rotating in through construction. Now jumping down to the garage, we're going to be taking a spot that's really common for spawn peaks, but instead of putting melee or bullet holes in this garage wall, we're going to be doing a run out, throwing a perfect C4 that lands right on the running path within 2 seconds of attackers spawning in. Now we're going to be able to take them out before they even peek the main gate, but this one could be risky if they do choose to run on the other side. So this particular trick is really going to just depend on your playstyle if you want to use it or not, depending if you like to YOLO spawn kill or not. Moving to the new canal rework, we have our second to last trick before we get into our last and final out of this world trick for this video. Anyways, anytime you place secure area or bomb inside of the Coast Guard meeting room, it will be placed right in front of this desk where if you have impacts, you can break the chair and create this impact hiding spot that is so crazy dark and hard to see that drones will be flying past you. Honestly, I can't wait till the next time I get secure area here in casual and see how long the overtime goes. Moving to Villa, for the most simple hidden Valcam you'll ever see, we're going to be in astronomy where we can throw a Valkyrie camera onto this insanely bright light above the stairs to hide even the blue light that comes on when you're spectating from the camera. Now this light is so bright that even if you look at it from different angles and see a slight outline of the black eye, it still looks like it could just be part of the light and especially since this is right next to a really common objective, you'll now be able to watch the push coming from bathroom and astronomy. Next up, we're going to be on Coastline where we're still trying to avenge the purple tarps where the legend Nico found and shared this insane new angle he discovered that has so many options for easy kills. Now I literally can't say enough good things about Nico, he has one of the most clever brains to ever touch Siege and if you haven't checked him out already, I'll have his YouTube and Twitter linked down below. Anyways, this angle that he shows us today has the potential to go all the way from outside on the balcony to the default plant spot in billiards. If you look at the bottom of the fridge and then continue walking backwards, you will start to see a slight pixel of light coming through and from there you can actually get bullets and even capital bolts to go through. You could even hold this angle once you take hookah and it will lead right through the default rotate hole between hookah and billiards. If you're attacking, you can just run up here on top of the balcony and then pre-fire here to get wall bangs on the common anchor spot by the hatch and if you're defending, you can get angles back out to the other side. One side note is that you can shoot through the left side of the wall by the fridge, but the bullets will only be able to go onto the doorway. But if you do know that someone has to push through, this is a good option for pre-firing. Anyways, Brafam, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Stay tuned because we have some epic stuff coming up with this new season. And if you like this video, it would really help if you leave a thumbs up. Or if you hated it, go ahead and leave a thumbs down. Anyways, I'll see you all very soon in the next video. I love you all. Peace.